I thought, thumbs, thumbs up. But I took my nap with her and I woke up and I called her and I dropped, dropped to my knees, literally dropped to the floor. And so it's been a wild few months. Ever since Ruby Frankie's arrest, we had heard from both of her sisters, Bonnie and Julie, but we had not heard anything from Ellie up until three days ago where she posted a YouTube video. I have been thinking about a video, thinking about making a post, wanting to talk, but then my mind goes blank. It, it goes black. I have no words. Prior to Ellie's YouTube video, we did hear from her husband, Jared, when he uploaded a video to his Instagram stories. We won't be talking about it. We won't be discussing it. It kind of feels like the end of a chapter in the story of our lives. With everything that's going on right now, Ellie has decided to continue to take a break from social media, but I would love to be here to chat with you and share with you things that are uplifting and bring happiness. Personally, I'm not too familiar with Ellie and Jared, but they have a YouTube channel with 1.6 million subscribers and they started their channel around 2011. Now I have heard that Ellie and Jared initially started their YouTube channel and then got the rest of the family involved and then they created YouTube channels. Much like her siblings, her channel seems to focus on family vlogging as well as her infertility struggles. Now, since Ellie's YouTube video, she has also posted a separate video with both her and her husband where they're doing a podcast. Family and extended family has experience some devastating news. And they touch on a few things in that video as well. So I'm gonna share some clips with you from that and from Ellie's video. We're gonna start off with Ellie's first video titled, Hi, Checking In, which was posted three days ago. I have not been doing well at all. I have been thinking about a video, thinking about making a post, wanting to talk, but then my mind goes blank. It, it goes black, I have no words. Ellie says that over the last few months, she has felt so much grief, sadness, and shock, and that she thought she was doing better, but that she's been nursing her baby and that she's actually lost weight. So she says she wanted to take time to just focus on herself, her baby, and making sure she was eating. And taking care of my kids, and social media work was the last thing on my mind. And I thought I was doing good, and I'm just having a really hard time. Um, but I haven't wanted to let a lot of time go by. I've wanted to say thank you for your messages and your thoughts and prayers, but um, my heart has been very heavy. After this, Ellie goes on to share a ring that her grandmother used to wear and talks about how she had one made for her mom, Bonnie, and Julie, and that when her mom returns from their mission trip, she'll be able to wear it. And I had a ring made for me, Bonnie, Julie, and my mom. And when my mom gets back from her mission, she will be able to have it. We'll have matching rings. So I guess Ruby's parents still are on their mission trip. And I've been thinking about my mom a lot. We've just been through a lot. She talks about how she's had a hard time even wanting to get on social media and that she wants to go to her therapist to work through her grief and not social media. I want to go to my therapist to talk to things and to get over my grief and to cope. I don't want to come to social media and do that. But I don't know if this feeling is going to go away anytime soon. Towards the end of the video, she says she just wanted to get on and say hi and thank you to everyone and how she's grateful for her friends and neighbors who have come over and helped her out through this difficult time. And I set up my Christmas tree because I thought, why the heck not? Why not? <laughs> and I'm going to decorate it tomorrow. I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, so now we're going to get into the podcast, which was posted one day ago. So the podcast is about 30 minutes long, but I just wanted to share with you any snippets where they actually talk about the situation going on with Ruby. In the beginning, they just start off by talking about their life over the past year, how they have struggled with infertility, how they just had their new baby, and then they talk about his hip replacement. Another thing that has happened, as you know, our family and extended family has experience some devastating news. We want to be respectful. We want to be respectful of the courts. We want to be respectful of our extended family. Mm -hmm. We love those guys so much. We will continue to do what we can to support them, but out of respect for everyone involved, we just won't be talking about it. My heart has been heavy. So again, I'm just skipping through this video to get to the parts where they're talking about the situation. So this clip coming up, she's going to discuss how she first found out about everything. Yeah, we're, we had our podcast set up a few months ago. Yeah. It, it was that day. We, we had our podcast set up. We were excited to get going. Mm -hmm. And and I, I came home and I never co-sleep with June ever. I did with my other kids, but I never co-slept with her. And I was taking a nap with her and my sister kept calling. And I was like, oh my gosh, like I'll call you later. She, we never do that. So I thought, thumbs, thumbs up. But I took my nap with her and I woke up and I called her. And I dropped, dropped to my knees, 
literally dropped to the floor. And so it's been a wild few months. And this is what we were wanting to do. Now, this part, she's discussing how she feels like she was the ultimate fun mom through the month of October, how the only thing she could control was herself and how she wanted her kids to be happy. Jackson told one of my friends, he was like, I think my mom's depressed. And it made her cry. It made me cry. That makes me cry. Now, before this next clip, they're talking about getting ready for the holiday season, how they really just want to focus on their family this month and how they're getting ready for Christmas. Jared talks about how he's excited and he likes to see the happiness that is coming. And Ellie says that it's a choice. Like, ah, toxic positivity, all this, whatever. I, Jared and I are quick to say, you need to feel your emotions. Absolutely. You need to see a licensed therapist. (laughs) Emphasis, please. You need to. Ellie goes on to say that you need to feel your feelings and that may take a month and it may take a year. When Jackson said that to my friend, the first month I couldn't get really out of bed. Now, I'm just assuming she's talking about the situation with Ruby here. I was asking neighbors to come help me and Jared was very, very preoccupied with doing things for extended family. So here she's talking about how she said a very intentional prayer because she just wanted to be able to be there for her children. Like I have to block everything out. I need to get up. I need to take care of myself. I need to eat food. I had lost eight pounds. I, my, my milk was going away. I had a baby to feed. I like, I just want to shift my mind. So here she's saying after she told herself that she needed to shift her mindset that she was able to. Doesn't mean I'm happy. Doesn't mean all of a sudden life is grand, but like it, you really can shift your, your focus quick. You can decide even when your life feels like crap, you can decide to get up for yourself. And I swear every day gets better. Now, throughout the rest of the podcast, they just talked about how the pandemic affected them, how they each deal with anxiety differently, different family life things. So that was about it as far as what they discussed regarding the Ruby situation. Now, I was a little surprised to hear that Ruby's parents had still not returned from their mission trip. And one of the ways we knew they were on a mission trip is because they also have their own YouTube channel, Grandma and Grandpa Griffiths. I think we have been sold a lie. When you start thinking that everybody is this and everybody is that and nobody baloney. Most people are good. Most people want to help. You need to tune out the garbage and just start focusing and paying attention on the good. Ever since we heard about Ruby's arrest, that's one of the things everyone has been wondering is did Ruby's parents come home from their mission trip? And according to Ellie's most recent video, they have not. They also have the comments turned off on their YouTube channel. Now, as far as Ruby's two other sisters, Bonnie has remained pretty active on her YouTube channel. When we got here, I had three separate kids come to me and say, why aren't you going to film this? Are you going to film this? And I told them that I wasn't going to. And Boston cried. And Lincoln was like, but I want to see what all the things that I can do. I want to look back at this video. And, and Cody's the one that kind of got mad. And he said, why? He said, why do we not get to do this anymore? And I thought, you know, you're right. Why don't we? Why can't we? Why do I feel like I can't? And they were pissed. Not only were they sad, but they were pissed. And they said, no, we want you to film this. We're going to be mad if you don't. I think it's really nice that the kids want these videos. And Julie has posted two more videos since she put out her video about Ruby. Now, Bonnie did post a video titled Our Childhood that she has since deleted about their childhood growing up as it pertains to Ruby. And I do have a separate video on that if you'd like to go check it out. I just thought it was very interesting that Ruby's parents had not returned or that they weren't trying to gain custody. We know that Sherry had custody of the two oldest girls when everything first happened. Now, if they're still with Sherry is unknown at this point, but I just couldn't imagine Sherry getting custody of all of her siblings and then being able to care for all of her siblings. So 
maybe Ruby's parents or even her sister are helping her behind the scenes. We're not really sure at this point, but I just thought it was interesting that they would not come back and maybe help Sherry fight for that custody or even want to get custody for themselves. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Please do me a favor and like this video. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and subscribe for more updates.